Through the hand project, you want to first determine what you want to say with your hands. It could be your initials, it could be a saying, but you probably only want to go three to five letters because that's all that's going to fit on 11 by 11. I want to use the word home. So I'm going to refer to my sheet. If you don't know ASL um, sign language and see the symbols for H, M, O's and E's. Um, and I'm going to draw these out here on the sheet. Now I am not asking for you to do a perfect sketch. Really, you can keep it very blocky. It's really just to get an idea of where everything is going to line up and how you plan to arrange things. All hands don't have to be the same size. You can make some of your hands larger and some smaller. Doing the O right now and have like a thumb in there. Notice it's not precise at all. That's not what I'm looking for. An M is where your thumb is tucked in. The three of the fingers and it peeks out right here. And then I'm gonna bring an E over on here. Please don't spend a lot of time on this. It is just a reference sketch for us. So you have an idea. So I kind of think I want, and I'm doing mine different. A lot of times we encourage you to go off the edge of more times. I actually want something different. I think I'm gonna go all off the base, which means I'm gonna make sure my fingers hit the side. So I'll just make this a little bit bigger, making sure maybe I'll make this come all the way to the top and hit all sides of the page. So then I am utilizing and working off page. Now you need to draw onto a piece of sketch paper first. This is thin computer paper. What you're going to do, you're going to be using the bug method. Um, we want to make sure that when you're doing it, that you are actually looking at your hand. So an H is like this. If I wanted to do a hand where I would see, you know, with my right hand or turn it or what have you, this is the way I want you to do it. You take your Chromebook out and you're going to take your camera, <laughs> and then you can do and take a shot of whatever you want and it'll be right there in front of you to draw off of. That is one of the best ways to do it. I don't want you doing it on your phone. There's a couple of reasons why you shouldn't do it on your phone. One, it ends up looking, um, being too small to see all the detail. Two, obviously a lot of people have very dull screens that go out and you'd have to keep clicking and activating it. So I would rather you do it on a Chromebook. Starting with my H, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my lines. Now I'm going to give myself a bit of a head start. Make sure it fills up the whole page. As I said, I want my O to be up higher. Maybe go off the page. So then now I'm like looking and I'm like, wait a minute, I think I want my, my H to be over here, down here. So this is going to give you a guideline to begin. Then comes actually working on doing your blind, partially blind line contours. After drawing it, I would go back, um, try to do it as continuous as possible, and then I might say, okay, looking at it, maybe the proportions might be a tiny bit off, and I might do a little bit of adjustments here and there. 
the great thing is, is that this is not your final. You're gonna be drawn in another sheet. So if you do happen to have to go back and erase, that's okay because we're gonna be drawing it on good white paper. Now I'm gonna go and start setting in to do my other ones. And all of this will then get approved by your teacher. A helpful hint when trying to draw, you wanna see that your nail grows out from your finger and it swoops in. So you can see that the nail goes in to the skin. Whenever trying to draw your creases of your skin, your folds, you wanna make sure that they bump out a little bit. It's just one of those extra details that make it look really sharp. And don't forget about the nail parts. Another trick is the measuring trick. If I sit there and measure my thumbnail to see how large it is compared to everything else, I'm gonna realize it's the same width or length. Right now, I've made my thumbnail too large because it should be the same as this finger and I can measure it with my pencil. So taking the measurement from this finger, putting it to here, I realize my nail should be done here. So this is just one of those things that artists do and you might see them kind of measuring and everything is a helpful way to make sure your proportions are correct because mine were not. Something looked off and that's how I can determine to move all this up so that it would look a little bit more realistic and I would redraw this. Again, you will be erasing um, and the reason why we're doing it on sketch paper first is so that we can get proportions correct and if there's needing anything to be changed, like the length of something, we can.